If you want straight A's in school, this is what you need to start doing. Most students find themselves stopping after reading the articles and doing the work. However, they soon forget everything after. What you should be doing instead is after you read and complete the work, use an app like Genie. It will pick out the most important points of the text and summarize them. Every other day leading up to your quiz or test, you can review the summarized version in order to keep the information fresh in your brain. It'll save you the time of rereading the entire article. You can sign up for Genie through the link in my bio. To get a better idea of what this software does, I ran one of my own articles through it, and I got a bunch of keywords and phrases. Uh, basically, the idea is to get the main points broken up by heading. And if you click on it, you'll see that it is basically pulling out what is already verbatim in the text. One issue that I see is that acronyms are used, and in the actual article, these acronyms are defined, but when it pulls out the keywords, they're not defined. I also noticed the highlighting isn't always quite accurate. So for example, if you click here, you should have gotten to the results, but you'll actually get to the discussion. So if you wanted to read for more information, you would be directed to the wrong place. Another issue is that you are missing out on a lot of really important information. For example, if you look at the findings in this section, only some of the findings are covered. And when you click on one of the key phrases, you'll see that the big thing it removes is the p-value. And if you do research that's quantitative, knowing that exact p-value is important. So here's my hot take on this software. It looks like a great tool to help you preview an article. That means that if you have a hard time understanding articles, you upload it onto Genie, you read what Genie has condensed for you, and then you read the article. Because you've previewed the information, you'll understand it better. It's not a good substitute for actually reading the article, and taking your own notes would probably be more effective as far as reviewing the information afterwards.